Triumph Fest in Santa Maria in 2014, that was actually the first Triumph Fest we went to. We uh, went out and took a look at it, and that's when he mentioned that he was thinking about selling it. And I said, well, if you ever decide to sell it, let me know, because I may be interested. One of the things that really intrigued me about this TR2 was that it was an early car. It's a uh, what they call a long door TR2. After about the first 4,000 TR2s, they modified the door to bring the sill up so that when the door was opened, it would no longer hit curbs. I definitely wanted to have a long door, so that was one of the reasons this car appealed to me. We're sitting in the Pam Cave. Uh, that was one criteria for this garage that we built, was she had her corner. I love coming out here and knowing that he's doing something that he likes to do. We bought our TR4 in 2011. The plan was never to have more than one, but the hobby grew on us. And I can't remember if the TR2 the, was the second or third car we bought. The GT6 was second. The TR2 and was third. We got the TR2. Yeah. We built this garage because I love to work on the cars, right? If, if I didn't love to work on these cars, I'm not sure I'd be in this hobby. I do pretty much everything on the car except body and paint. And that I get to enjoy the results of his hobby by getting to drive in it. So these are things that the person we bought it from did, but they were all things to make the car more drivable. He replaced the front drum brakes with TR3 disc brakes. He put in an electric fan on the radiator to help it with the cooling. He added an alternator instead of a generator. You know, the engine is basically stock. It still has the low port head on it, which is pretty rare these days. It does have bigger pistons, which is a common upgrade that people do. But other than that, it's a relatively stock car. The big part of why I enjoy having these cars is because you do get to tinker with them and futz with them and, and uh, keep them in the right tune so you get, get the enjoyment out of them on the road. When I first met Pam, I had my TR4 that I purchased when I was in high school. She didn't go on a lot of rides in it. It wasn't the most dependable car at that point in time. In fact, the first time we met, Joel did take me out in the TR4 and it broke down <laughs> and we had to limp our way back <laughs> and get into his other car. <laughs> old sports cars are unique because they give you a real feel of driving. No power steering, no power brakes, manual transmission, low cut doors, lots of wind in your hair. Right? You can reach down and touch the ground while you're moving if you want to. It handles pretty well. Uh, it's fun to drive in the curves, shifting through the gears, having the overdrive transmission is a lot of fun. I've driven the two a lot because we'll go to um, car shows and he'll drive one of the cars and I usually like to drive the two. It's a, it's a fun little car to drive. You know, you get, you get a lot of people who say, oh, when I was, you know, in high school, I had a TR4 or I had a TR3 or I had an MG. One of the neat things is it does bring back memories from, from days gone by. We love to take this car up to San Ynez in the wine country for a day of wine tasting and driving around yeah, the just driving roads. around those beautiful back roads up in that area is a lot of fun. Just being able to look up and see the sky or the trees if you're in a canopy of trees as you're winding around the twisty roads and it just is freedom. It's really nice. I would never want to sell it. It's my favorite of all the triumphs that we have.